Good morning, and welcome to Midday at Noon, with your host, Mindy Pickles, and Dick Pickles, coming to you live on public access. It's Midday at Noon. Today on Midday at Noon with Dick and Mindy. And welcome back to Midday at Noon. Now, Emma, your letter literally gave me chills. Yes, the power of your love really inspired me. It's unfortunate, though, that uh, some people are too thick to have it inspire them in any way whatsoever. <laughs> so how about you walk us through your day? I'm sure the folks at home are curious. Well, it's pretty normal, actually. I mean, sometimes I come home and, and I want to get close to him. You know, I like to cuddle. And uh, he's just so cold. Well, not everyone wants to cuddle. Sometimes well, that's just natural. Right, I know what you mean. But uh, in David's uh, condition, it just seems a little bit more understandable. Well, perhaps, but I think our relationship is actually falling apart. I mean, David is just, he's emotionally dead. Is there anything you'd like to say about this, David? I know what it's like to have someone speak for you all the time. <laughs> you know, sometimes I feel like my opinions don't matter. I don't think you take me seriously, Emma. Well, you don't think, ever, about anything. Last year, for my birthday, he takes us on a skiing trip. Even though he knows I hate to ski. And then this year, I got a cooler of meat. You eat meat, babe. <laughs> you won't let me cook it. It's better that way. Just tear flesh off bone. <laughs> then he does this. How am I supposed to take that seriously? Get off my back. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's get back to the topic here. Listen, we're not here to argue. We're here to find solutions. That's just it. I, I don't think that there are solutions. He's so stubborn. Stop trying to tell me how to live. <laughs> okay, it's, it's 2 a.m. last night, and he comes home slurring. This again. <laughs> slurring and groaning and bumping into things and freaking out the neighbors and, and I'm supposed to be okay with this? <laughs> Absolutely no concern for you. No, exactly. Mm. And, and it's supposed to be okay because all his friends do it. Oh, again with my friends, huh? Oh, okay, well if you wouldn't follow their little mob around, stumbling and getting into all sorts of trouble. David, I worry, okay? I worry. This is good. Talking about things helps. Instead of letting it bottle up inside until you just explode and grab a pillow and want to smother her. Did you ever get that urge? No, I, I really do love her. I, and not just for her brains. But she's smart and funny and pretty. Oh, love. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> and I stopped snoring, so that's something she should be thankful for. Yes, <laughs> but you do still gurgle. <laughs> <laughs> I think what we need to acknowledge here, Emma, is that David cares. He's recognized the fact that there's something wrong, and, and he's trying. He's trying. Yes, that is true. And you know what? He, uh... He has been putting the toilet seat down lately, so, oh. so there's that. <laughs> there's a lesson there for you, Dick. <laughs> yeah, let's not get into it. This is David and Emma's time. You know, you could be a little more open-minded to her concerns. Thank you. He could. <laughs> He's never been very receptive, though. H have you tried role-playing? Oh, yes, uh, but he won't take to it. <laughs> let's not get into this. Right, so I think the audience and everyone else uh, would like to know, how's your sex life? Ooh. It's great. Not the same. We can we can go for hours. <laughs> Don't exaggerate. But uh, uh, he's been biting me more than usual. Oh, we should be moving on. 
You know, it's never been very good, but lately I can barely feel it. And yeah, it's we're just... running out of time. Let's move on. Okay, well, David, Emma, thank you so very much for having come in today. <laughs> uh, thank you, everyone. And next time, uh, when we explore the truth of the Easter Bunny and his stint in rehab. <laughs> uh, Thanks. Take care. Uh, uh, nice to meet you, too. Oh, well, then. Okay. No, Gary! Gary! Uh, Gary! Put some life in uh, No, well, maybe. <laughs> Join us next time on Midday at the Office.